So one of the biggest questions that I have gotten um, over the last year, over and over and over again, and I have not really thought of how I'm going to have this response, but... Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is obviously totally different than what I normally post here on this channel, but I have a lot to chat with you all about, a lot of exciting things, things that I haven't talked about for a really, really long time. So if you've been around for a long time, I'm sure this is a video that you've been waiting for or wondering about where my life is and what's been going on beyond cooking and meal prepping and doing a lot of the normal style content that I do here on my channel. So I've been trying to get a little bit of water in because I'm about to make myself my second cup of coffee for the day. So we're going to make a cup of coffee together, just something really simple. And then we're gonna sit down and cozy up and we're gonna chat. So I just got this marshmallow flavored creamer that I'm really excited to use. So I think we're gonna make a hot coffee. I just picked up a Keurig the other day. I had gotten rid of mine for a while, but with fall coming and warmer months coming on, I decided to pick one up again just to be able to make quick hot coffee. So let's get to it. It is so delicious and I love finding creamers that are non-dairy and also unsweetened so I can like play with how much sweetener I put in it so if you have never seen my face I would not be surprised because a lot of the content that I've put up on this channel in the last year I haven't shown my face I'm usually showing recipes and my meal plans and things like that so oftentimes you don't really see me. And so if this is the first time you're seeing my face, hi, I'm Adeline. Obviously this channel has been named Adeline's Kitchen. And I also have another channel that I post often on. It's called Adeline's Home. A lot of people are surprised after watching one or the other of my channels that I have a second channel, but I do. I actually have a third one as well, but I don't post on it very often. And so I just love sharing sharing content and love sharing things that I'm interested in and things that I enjoy doing like keeping my home organized and cooking and meal prepping and that sort of thing. But if you've been here for a really long time, then you all know that my content and my channels have gone through a lot of changes and seasons and different things and I have just kind of, oh, I've been on YouTube for almost four years solidly and it's just been 
a learning process and finding my footing. So this is not only a personal update on my life, but it's also kind of an update on my YouTube channels as well. You're gonna be seeing some changes and things, but we'll get to that here in a minute. There's also been a tremendous amount of changes in my personal life and in our family. I'll be sharing that as well in this video. So if you wanna stick around for all of that, then maybe grab yourself a nice hot drink or a little snack. But before we dive in too far, I want to thank Costway for sponsoring this week's video. I had so much fun this week. We actually made ice cream with their ice cream maker that they have on their website. It's super, super easy to use. And since I eat a lot of dairy-free items, it's also easy for me to make myself some dairy-free ice cream with it as well. I want to say thank you to Costway for sponsoring this week's video. I have been having so much fun with their ice cream maker. This thing is so simple to use and this week I wanted to make up some strawberry, fresh strawberry ice cream. So I went ahead and put my strawberries into a little bit of water with some white vinegar just to get them rinsed off in my salad spinner and you're gonna need some lemon juice. I will leave the link below for this ice cream recipe, but I went ahead and just diced up some fresh strawberries. The thing I love so much about this ice cream maker is there is zero prep work. I know that other ice cream makers take a lot of different things you need to do to the actual ice cream maker before you start. This one is so simple. You simply mix up your ingredients. You put them right into the ice cream maker and it takes about 30 minutes for it to make your ice cream. And it makes the softest, most delicious ice cream. This is a machine we are going to be using so often, especially on weekends whenever we are together as a family. makes ice cream fast enough that we could make multiple flavors as well. So once you have all of your ingredients together, you just wanna pour them into the ice cream container like you saw. It has that handy little handle that you can just lift it right into the ice cream maker and it will stir it and make it nice and frosty. Whenever you're finished, you'll just open up the lid and pull out the paddle. And it even comes with this handy little scoop and look how soft and delicious this looks. I just scooped it right into the containers and added some fresh strawberries. So check out the information in the description box below where you can find out how you can get your hands on one of these ice cream makers. They are so simple to use and I know that you will enjoy using it as much as we have. Okay, so I'm really excited to share with you all the direction that my YouTube content is going in. So my home channel is going to stay the way that it is. So basically on my home channel, I share a lot of organizing tips and just ways to kind of keep your life a little bit more organized around your house or even just simple budget-friendly DIY ideas. Just kind of how I like to keep my home. And then here I have shared a lot from my kitchen, obviously, and I just really have felt such a call and a pull back to sharing more of my personal life and sharing more of what else I'm up to. So on this channel, you're gonna see a little shift. I say little because you're gonna still see menu ideas and meal preps and things like that but you may see it more in a form where I'm also incorporating things that we're doing in our lives, like my garden or homeschooling or what we eat in a day, how I prepare a lot of freezer meals and things like that. Cause those things have been majorly requested here in the comments. You all are asking for me to kind of bring back some of my content I used to make and just start sharing more of like life and lifestyle things. Part of what's making some of that possible is I've actually 
um, built myself a little team of people that help me here with my content here on YouTube um, and just help me run everything. So that has made such a huge difference when you're a mom and you have a lot of things going on in your life. Sometimes it can be difficult to juggle absolutely everything and it's also such a huge changing season when you start to give out your responsibilities to other people to help you get it all done. I don't really think that it's possible for one person to get absolutely everything done. I think a lot of times we need help, it takes a village, you know, you hear that little saying and I think that that is really, really true, especially for this season of life for me. Another thing, and this is kind of in the near future that we're working on, is getting a website up and running, a functioning website. I do have a blog and it's gonna be that same link, but we're gonna set it up as a website where you can access my recipes and access just like when you're looking for something that you've seen on my videos, you can easily find it. I also kind of want to get into writing a blog as well. I am a writer at heart, so I really would love to just start writing things that's on my heart and devotionals or things like that where I can just kind of have it all stored in one place for you guys to access really easily. I do not want this video to be a million years long, but one other thing that's going to change is Adeline's home is going to stay Adeline's home, but this channel is actually going to, you're gonna see this next week, change to being called Adeline Zook, back to what I originally had called it, and just because it's going to be a broader spectrum of content than just my kitchen and meal prepping. Okay, so for those of you that have been around for quite a while, you all have asked me so many questions about my personal life, and it's just been a crazy, crazy year to two years. You all know that I went through a really big move and then I kind of pulled back on sharing my personal life and disappeared a little bit into my content. And I needed that, that's what I'm gonna say first and foremost. It was where I felt God calling me to was just taking a step back on sharing things in a personal light and I think a lot of times creators can feel a pressure to do that and I just didn't feel a pressure to do that. I felt more of a call to um, using my energy for things that were really needed. My family needed me. And so that was part of that because it takes a certain amount of your mental and emotional energy to share your personal life in a very public way. So to start off with, the girls have been doing really great. Um, Everly is going into first grade this year and Kylea is going into kindergarten and Hazley, she's just tagging along with them. And so we had a good first year of homeschooling. So that was another factor in this past year was I'm homeschooling and so I just had a lot to juggle with that as well. And I'm gonna be sharing some content of that um, here on this channel also because I know I've gotten questions about that but they are doing really well we are with family a lot we do a lot of things with family and we haven't gotten into anything as far as sports or dance or anything like that yet um, but we're talking about those things and possibly this next year having them get into those things but other than that they are just really happy little five, six, and seven year olds and just loving life as sisters. And we still have Zaley. I know that that's commented about every once in a while, our, our dog Zaley. Um, she's a Cavapoo and she had a batch of puppies this year, which I had shared a little bit about on my vlog channel. Um, that's the channel that I haven't been posting on very much. And this channel is gonna morph into some of that content along with meal prepping and things like that. So those things will kind of be together on this channel. Um, but, so that's a little update on them. They do have colds right now, so right now they're actually just kind of resting and we're having a sick day around here. Um, one other thing that we have going on with doing homeschooling is my mom found some caterpillars this past week. So we have caterpillars. The name of the butterfly is like completely slipping my mind right now. 
uh, swallowtail, swallowtail butterflies, and one of them last night made its chrysalis. So that's really fun. I love hands-on with the homeschooling. And we also just took a trip to the Crayola factory um, here in Pennsylvania, and we are doing some other like trips just for school purposes. Um, and I love that aspect of homeschooling and traveling and doing all of that. So one of the biggest questions that I have gotten um, over the last year, over and over and over again, and I have not really thought of how I'm going to have this response, but I know oh, I'm gonna start off with saying that God is good. And there's a lot of mixed opinions and feelings about and around addiction and how to handle it and what to do as a spouse of someone that has struggled with those things or what to do as a loved one of someone that has struggled with those things. But to answer everybody's questions, yes, Corey is in our lives. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you're not gonna probably find very much in my past videos because a lot of the videos I talked about those things through the past couple of years have been privated just for multiple reasons. Um, but Corey, my husband, has had some struggles in life, like we all do. We all have things that we struggle with. And um, we have been just going through a really huge healing process in the past year. And it's really amazing and crazy to sit here and be able to say the word recovery season because that is where we're at and I just, I'm not going to overshare about this topic right now. I probably will in the future, but as of right now, it's just more of a private topic, but I do feel like it's fair to say these things and just kind of give you a brief update on that. So you guys may see him in the backgrounds of my videos and I know that he has been in them. And um, some of you that have watched for a long time have noticed him being in them, but he's actually, we've been working on this whole process for a lot longer than anything's been on social media or anything like that. So that being said, um, this channel is my channel. It's not, we're not family vloggers per se or anything like that. So you may see him here and there. Um, and you may hear the girls talk about him and those sorts of things or me refer to him It's just truly amazing and if I sit here and think about it or talk about it too much I probably will cry because God just does miracles He still does miracles today and he does things that in ways that we don't think that he's going to It's always not how we think it's gonna pan out or how we think it's gonna play out but I do know that he is faithful and for those of you that have followed my journey because you're on a similar journey, I know I get messages, especially on my DMs on Instagram, which by the way, if you guys want to chat with me, that is the best place to do it is my messages on Instagram. But I know a lot of you through the years have messaged me and just said that my journey has encouraged you, even though I haven't overshared about it, you know that I have fought a hard fight and along with him and um, I just hope that I can keep being an encouragement to people. I know Corey said the other day that he could see me writing a book someday which I don't know I do have a writer's heart but it is uh, yeah we'll see what God we'll see what God's plan is for all of that but anyways so that is what is kind of going on in a tiny, tiny, tiny nutshell. And I'm excited to kind of come back around and be open about life again and just be sharing. And Corey and my team have encouraged me in this and just, you know, really have said, I think your passion is to get to know your subscribers and to be very, um, connecting with with my subscribers and I've missed that however sometimes you can't pour from an empty cup and I know everybody says that but it is very true you cannot pour into other people whenever you're the one that's needing to be poured into so that's where I've been and now I'm excited to start sharing and just be a light of hope for anyone that needs it or anyone that's been where I've been so 
I don't want to take too much time away from my littles with them being kind of sick and not feeling good and I have a lot on my to-do list today but I wanted to sit down and just share all of this and I will be sharing so much more I really was like I cannot sit down and make a two-hour video as much as I want to and as much as I would love to just sit here and overshare and go on and on and on I'm just gonna leave it as is and you guys can let me know in the comments what you would like to see in my content along with meal prepping and what we eat and that sort of thing um, and especially for those of you that have watched for a long time I would love to hear like what you've missed about my old content and a lot of the things that I used to share and just going on in this crazy life with me Anyways, if this is the first video of mine that you are watching, welcome! <laughs> I am so glad that you're here. And a motorcycle just went past every single time. Whenever I do Instagram stories, the same. There's gonna be some kind of loud truck or motorcycle that goes past, which we do live in an area that a lot of people have loud vehicles. <laughs> but anyways, if you're new here, I'd love it if you subscribed and hung around, especially in this changing season. It is such a changing season and I think that God is so cool in connecting things going on in life and things going on in your emotional and spiritual journey. And I just think it's so neat that we're about to go into fall and fall is always such a changing season. Through the years, I feel like fall is always, it's like visually changing around me and I always feel like I have some sort of a spiritual changing season in fall as well. It seems like God just always connects those things. So I'm excited for what's to come. I'm excited to hear from you all in response to this video and hear um, if you're excited too. So I will see you guys in my next video.